Hi, everyone. This will be the last video on this channel here by the name of Homey Land Security. Because after three months of silly mob rule strikes and shadow banning penalties, I couldn't really use my Gure channel, which you can see here. Here, Gure. And of which you can find a link when you go to the channel section here. Here's the channel section. And here is my email address here in the about section. Yesterday, I uploaded this little documentary here. It's only 10 and a half hours. Then I looked at the number 10, 25, 37. And you know, I have this funny thing seeing things with sometimes different realms opening up in front of me. And you know, I'm not a believer in having no religion at all, as I need facts. But with that number, some, something went click just right now. And I thought by myself, coincidence? So here's that number. Yeah, 10, 25, 37. And so here is the channel section. So here is the, um, the channel where you're watching the, um, a video now, Homey Land Security. And um, here in the About section in all my channels, uh, well, I can't, so maybe if I go down here. Okay, there it is. Uh, here's my email, swisstorture at gmail.com. So I'll be doing the next uploads on this channel here, Gure, which is the same name as my first channel, which got taken off a couple of years ago with a lot of hundreds of videos. So you might say this is Gure number two. And back to the number here, 10, 25, 37. So here I show you the number once more down here in a bigger frame, 10, 25, 37. So I don't really know why I did this because I'm not religious. I guess I was just curious. Or... So I punched this here, what you can see here, uh, in the browser and all this here popped up page after page with the number of my freaking 10 hour, 25 minutes and 37 seconds video. This here, you can read it yourself. With this here, you can see only this popped up page after page after page. The same number as in my video. Uh, I'm not even religious, so what's going on? Maybe it's what some people say, like he's not religious, but he must do this or something. Well, who knows? It talks about this homeless dude. Homeless, like myself. The number talks exactly about 
what this video is about, namely helping others against the evil in this world. The story and number from that religious book says exactly the same what I always say. In this passage in life on this earth, you live, eat, sleep, work, accumulate comfort and distraction. But what do you leave on this earth after your time is up? Of all the material you have been frantically gathering all your freaking lives, there's nothing you can take with you when your time is up. Maybe the only thing one leaves on earth after this physical life are your children. But in these times and in this era, one must be lucky your children remember you at all after two weeks after you're gone. So basically, your whole life was in vain and a useless effort of making yourself important gathering all the goodies in your quest for abundance and eternal comfort. More, 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 until you end up as a flatliner, miserably perishing. And that was it. Now, I know I will leave something after my time is up. I tried to help humanity against this ever more growing evil. And hopefully I leave something to chew on with my documentaries. In the very same sense where this number of my film is about, here again. It's the same number as in my film. And in the wealthiest land in the world, with whom all nations traded with, there are no Samaritans. Still talking about the same number as in my video. And still the same number as in the film. Nobody ever stood up for me in Switzerland, nor for my terrorized young and innocent children. Instead, the Swissies incessantly beat me down in their very organized way under total Swiss mob rule for 25 long years, which you can partially witness in this video here. I'll play it for you so you don't have to go and search it. Die sind nicht als Mieter hier. Ja. Die Kinder müssen Die nicht Ferien. rauskommen. Die Mach jetzt das weg. Don't touch me. Get your hands off me. Go out. Go out. Das ist auf einem Weg. Viel zu viel von den Ausländern. Ein paar sind ein paar ja. Ausländer. Und wir alle sollten die Kappe haben. Was hat er mal gesagt? Was? Was? Polizei bekannt bist du. Ja. Jetzt zeigen wir ihn mal an. Ja, ja. mach mal. Okay. Ja, ja. Ah. Ich oh, noch ja, aggressiv ja. werden. Oh je. Und wie heisst du? Und wie heisst du? Wenn ich hier nicht wohlfühle, dann kann ich nichts dafür. Ihr seid hierher gekommen. Nein, nein. Wir sind jetzt auch da. Ja, das ist ja. Das ist ja.
just as the former Swiss child slave Turi Honegger says here, everyone would just turn away when he hits me. Here it says, tragedy of child laborers comes to light. And Turi Honegger, he was a Swiss child slave until 1989. This is the real Switzerland, which they're hiding from you. Here, I read some of it for you here. Slave labor. These discarded children were meant to work in exchange for a mother's wage, but all too often the work was akin to slave labor, as Turi Honegger, a former Verdinkind, recalls. So the Swiss German name for these slave children until 1989 was Verdinkind. Kind, it means a child. Ding, the, the, the syllable in the middle, it means a thing. So these were children who were merely things, just as foreigners nowadays or immigrants. It's very painful for me to think back to those times, says Honegger. My life consisted of working and sleeping. There was little food and everyone shunned me. I remember feeling invisible, like I didn't exist. I ate and slept under the stairs. You know, the whole idea of concentration camps, it's, it's, it's Swiss, you know, it's the same. The invisible people. Well away from the family dinner table, I was shunned by all of them and there was no one who could help me escape. Honegger, an 80-year-old retired journalist who grew up as an orphan, winces when he recalls the beatings he received from the farmer for whom he worked. Everyone, so this is what he's saying, eh? everyone would just turn away when he hit me, he says. And this people is so typical Swiss. They all look away, you know. Once he beat me so badly that his wife took pity, cleaned up my wounds and put me to bed. I mean, this is a 14-year-old kid, eh? But in his anger, the farmer dragged me out and hurled me into the stables. He kept me locked up for days and told me to eat the animal feed. Honegger, who was 14 when he was taken away, from his adopted family is one is one of only a few surviving discarded children willing to speak openly about their childhood experiences you know it's it's not allowed to talk about these things in switzerland you know the police will come and and they'll lock you up you know they 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 shove it all under they under the rug you know under the carpet right eh? So that's typical, the, the laws of silence in Switzerland, you know, and then they're presenting the country like clean and neutral and, and nothing did anything wrong, you know. So I, I'll say this again, everyone would just turn away when he hit me, he says. So a 14-year-old child in Switzerland, you know, could get really beaten up, you know, all blue and and really injured and they just all turn away it's like it's like zombie land it's swiss mob rule and i know this so well so back to the number 10 25 37 and its message there are no samaritans in the base of all evil in the Alps. And this here, the Swiss Red Cross in the name of humanity. <laughs> it's a total hoax. How dare you say this? At the same time, this organization is all over the world and it's just a spy organization. At the same time, the Swiss Red Cross, they all knew that there were children slaves in the base of all evil. How dare you? 
20 years ago in Switzerland, I visited Turi Honecker because I felt so bad reading about what the Swiss mob did to a defenseless child. As I have this troubling side in me that I just can't turn away, turning a blind eye on this incredible evil. The old man, and still traumatized, cried when I was at his place when he started talking. Turi passed away five years ago in 2017. Being a child, Turi Honegger couldn't defend himself against the Swiss beatings. And me, Homie Ross, also had my hands tied because of my children who still needed me. Now 25 long agonizing years of endless Swiss mob rule with my hands tied, knowing that one day when my children have grown up, I'll have my hands untied and will stand before them fearlessly and merciless in the ultimate confront against a global Swiss mob rule. Hey, Swissy. I like the number 102537 because it means to team up together against the growing evil. 102537 is non facet pugnum digito uno. With one finger, one cannot make a fist. It's time to fight back, to help the wounded and the traumatized. And in the video, with the number 102537 on my channel Gure, I explain that Sa is the pharaonic amulet for protection, as in Sa Meriton. Me means pyramid in Pharaoh's demotic language, Ri is the sun and on is Osiris. Sa, me, ri, ton. Protection in the pyramid of the sun by Osiris. The pharaonic protection of the word Samaritan and its number 102537.